What are you doing guys? This is me Chandu and welcome back to another brand new tutorial. So in this video, we're going to discuss about how can I make this kind of invisible face. You can see your face reductions and this one called invisible. So using Python and OpenCV. So let's get started and jump on the code. So all right. So now you can see here, I get a folder called invisible face. So now I'm going to create one Python file here. So let's say main.py. Okay. So now we need to follow some steps uh, that is required to actually make this project. So first step is we actually we need to actually create one camera, and the second step is we need to actually detect the faces, and third step is we need to actually replace the background. Okay. So let's see how can you do that. So let's see the first step. So first we're going to import the CB2. So this CB2 is nothing but called the Open CB library. So you need to also install this library. So for that you need to open your command prompt here and type here pip install opencb python okay and make sure that use the latest version of opencb so i'm not going to actually install this library because i already installed this library before okay so now what you have to do you need to actually create one video capture objects so let's say cb2 dot video capture and inside this you need to put here one argument so let's put here zero why zero because we are going to actually use the default webcam of our laptop so if you are using the external webcam and you can also put here one okay so let's put in a variable called video okay so now we need to actually create one infinite loop so let's say while true then we need to actually read the video using this video capture frame okay so it will actually uh, give us two value so first one is a red and another one is a frame so red is nothing but one boolean and if it actually return the zero and one value so if the value is zero, that's mean there is some error in your camera. And if the uh, value is one, that's mean your camera is perfect. Okay. So now we need to actually show the frame, which one you actually capture using the video capture frame. So let's say camera. And inside this, you need to put the frame. And also you need to put here one white key, which actually help us to white the frame in our pop-up window. So let's say k equal cb2 dot white key equal to one. So if anyone press q from his keyboard, so this infinite loop will be back because this is you can see here this is nothing but the infinite loop you can see a condition is tight run through so that's why it's infinite so let's say video dot release because you need to release the video and finally you're going to destroy the all window okay so save it and run the code here okay so it's running the code so now you can see how it's run the code and open my webcam okay so our first step is done. So now we need to actually uh, do the step number two. So this step number two is nothing but for the detecting the face. So you can see your own file called hair cascade frontal default dot xml file. So you're going to actually use that. So for that in cb2 that is called the cb2 dot cascade classifier. We actually load the cascade classifier here. Okay. So let's go here. This is nothing but one xml file. We can also right click and rename and copy this path and also pass it on here. So this one, let's say XML. Okay, done. So let's put in the variable called face detect. Okay, I think I need to put here the underscore. Detect. Yeah. Okay. So down so now you need to actually detect that. So let's say face detect dot detect the multi scale. And we need to put here some values here. So let's say frame and the threshold value. So let's say one by three and the five. Okay. So let's put into one variable okay faces because there should be multiple number of faces so now we need to actually iterate to all the uh, coordinate below from the faces so it will give us the x coordinate y coordinate y and the height of the images not images that's mean the face is detected here that's mean coordinate in in the frame locations so in, in order to actually using that you can actually get the actually coordinate of the your detecting face so how you actually get that we are going to actually create a rectangle here okay so let's say frame and x comma y and the x oh, plus w and y plus is and you need to put here the color so let's say red color let's say 15 comma 15 comma 255 and this one uh, another one is called thickness so let's put in your pretty wall put here two not variable save it and run the code right now okay so now you can see here it opened my webcam and also detect my face with red color so now the 
final step you need to follow here to that is actually uh, take one background without me then you're going to actually replace the background on the coordinate so if you miss my harry potter invisible clock video so please watch this this is also similar video on that and this video is also awesome you can also make that so i suggest you to make this uh, uh harry potter invisible clock and comment on my comment box okay link will be in the description and you can check it out from here okay so now what you have to do you actually take one background without me without any person so let's say background background equal to zero so we're actually uh, usually actually using the uh, 30 fps of the frame per second so let's say for i uh, in range because we're going to actually take one external background with 30 fps so let's say red and say background equal to okay video dot read so we are using this don't worry uh, this is for actually uh, taking the background so let's import the time so you're going to actually slip the uh, slip the program for three seconds and you're going to actually take the background and replace it on our uh, detecting piece okay so to make it simple so let's uh, define a functions so let's say phase detections okay detections and input the frame here and you're going to copy this code uh let's say cut it cut the code and pass it on here okay okay so now let's check it out it actually work fine or not so let's give some space here and phase detections and call the function here okay so I call the function here and pass here the frame okay i think now it will work frame and run the code here and i see the output okay so now you can see here it run the code correctly okay so now you can see one frame uh, uh it's better to actually take one copy of the frame so let's say one copy let's say image let's say image let's say org that's been called original and frame let's say frame dot copy so we are going to actually using this copy for detecting the phase for the second frame and the phone from on the first frame we are going to actually uh make the frame uh, should be invisible so let's pass the image original here so pass here and pass here so let's make it phase detections okay and now our original frame that's in this this frame is passed on the phase detections and this one nothing but call phase detections so now you need to actually uh, actually subtract the background you need to actually cut the you need to cut the background here so let's run the code first and see okay so now what you have to do you need to cut this this detecting phase and replace the background just cut the phase so for that you can actually cut the frame with the white white and the height so w to height and the x to white okay this one so let's cut and see the output so now we need to actually cut the frame so for that we actually passing here frame so let's say frame y to y plus x and x to x plus w so it actually give us this frame with cutting format so let's say cd2 dot let's say i am show and let's say the window name let's say cut okay or say let's say cutting and comma and put here the bracket and run the code and see the output okay and open my camera so you can see here the face directions and the frame is cut frame the frame is cut you can see here this is nothing but the uh, camera and the face directions is actually done that's not camera cutting so you can see here the face is detected and this is the cutting so now what you have to do you need to actually take one background without me then we need to replace the background with the frame i think it will hope sense to you q okay okay so now what you have to do you actually creating one background here you can see here one background red background called video dot read with 30 fps so now you can actually replace the background here simple so see what's the technique we are going to actually use there's a main technique okay copy this and replace this with frame so now it's actually give me the output okay save and let's say run the code 
So now we are taking the input without me and it will open the webcam right now so you can see here without me so if i go on here so you can see here it detect my face and it will replace the background and my face is look like visible that's when it will take the frame with for three seconds and save it on the background and it will replace the background on these positions because this is nothing but the coordinate x comma y comma w comma h so that's why my face is looks like visible okay so now let's create one functions to make the face detection and the invisible one different so let's say daf invisible sorry for the sound because this sound is coming from my laptop so let's say frame here and let's say path is on the frame and copy this out Control c and pass it on here okay and you're going to actually remove this line okay so we are using this face direction on the image original and the the, 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 the what is one this is called the invisible so you're going to use the invisible from the frame one okay and you can actually uh, copy this out pass it on here and make it as let's say invisible okay and let's say image original let's say frame okay run the code and see the output so it's open the webcam and you can see here uh, no okay so go here and see it invisible my face it detect my face correctly and also you can see it invisible my face and you can see here so now what you have to do is to count that the face is detected or not so you can also give one technique to actually use one technique to actually count that that face is detected or not or you can also detect that uh, how many faces is detected on in frame so let's see how can you do that so for that on the face directions uh, let's say uh, if face s dot shape the list zero it will actually give me uh, let's say return let's say one so this is nothing but for counting the frame or counting the frame actually counting the faces inside the frame okay so how you actually call this function it actually give me return one that's mean face is detected okay so if the value is not uh, one that's mean the frame is not detected here okay so we can also uh use here so let's say a variable called let's say detect let's say detect number equal to face equal to face directions image original so let's say if detect number equal equal to one that's mean face is detected so let's say print face detect that okay so otherwise it's say no face so let's say else print no face detected okay so let's run the code and see the output so you can see here face is rejected before you can see here no face is rejected okay that's need actually work fine here okay so now you can actually put here one text here and make it some call so let's uh, take it and use it the rectangle and the port text okay so for that what so you have to do you need to put here the text so let's say cb2.put text okay and inside this you need to put here the frame so the frame is nothing but where you are going to actually put here so let's say put into on the face direction frame so let's say image original and another one it will take some argument so now it's the text so let's say face detect okay and the org this is nothing but called the coordinate so let's say 20 comma 35 and the font face so let's say font face let's say cb2 dot uh, font uh Hershey, let's say simplex and you need to put here which one this is nothing but the font scale so let's say 0 0.75 the scale of the font and the color so let's say make the red color so let's say 15 comma 15 comma uh, let's say 255 and the what is the thickness of the uh what do you call the font so and make it uh let's say line a it's a cb2 dot line a, a 
okay i think it will work fine now and copy this and paste it on here it also works fine here and let's say no face detected so let's say no face detected okay sorry no face detected okay i think it will work fine now so save it and run the code right now so as you can see here no face detected so i am, I am coming here and it says face detected and you can see it also invisible here and you can also feel the rectangle here also to actually make this a uh, call so let's put here one filling rectangle and also delete this uh, comment don't need that and also this one okay so let's say cb2 dot rectangle okay with fill color so let's say image or genial so let's say over g and let's say zero comma zero because you're going to actually create the rectangle from the zero coordinate to zero coordinate and let's say uh, x coordinate is coming on the 180 and the y coordinate let's say 60 it's okay fine uh and let's say the color so what should the color so let's say green color so 255 and zero and you need to put here uh, the thickness so let's say fill it so cb2 dot filled okay so filled and let's say copy this out and pass it on here okay control c and control b and make it is let's say phase reduction is long so let's say make it is two to zero i think the hope sense to you if you're working on that open to be before okay so now it's time to run the code and see if there's any error or not so let's run the code for the last time okay so you can see here one error it's not error actually uh, this is nothing but the rectangle error okay but working fine here we can also increase the size of the rectangle in the x coordinate y coordinate is fine and x coordinate actually increase the size of the rectangle so let's let's run the code let's 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 increase that so let's make it let's say 240 and also let's say 240 I think now it will actually work here okay that's fine so you can see here no face detected and face detected and the rectangle is working fine here so this is the tutorial hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and also you can see it invisible but I'm visible right now so thank you and bye bye